Hello. It was brought to my attention about these heaters, and I was getting asked questions about why am I modifying these. This one is factory. This still, this has never been modified. It has the actual plug to the back of it. I want to show you the energy that it uses when you plug it in. This is the energy it uses when it's plugged in, going through the manufacturer way. After it reaches a certain temperature, it will come down. As you see, it's coming down. This is the factory energy usage from the factory heater. Yes, it does put out some good heat. I'm not disputing that, but it uses a lot of watts. Watts. It's like money coming out of the pocketbook. You want to slow that rate and use less money. Like you don't want to spend money for expensive dress, shoes, car. See, it is coming down. But if this was fully, it would still be only like 40 minutes, 45 minutes to um, 50 minutes to be drained. This is the reason why, you know, I try not to use these on small power banks. When you get to 30 minutes, you're wasting your um, energy. I want to show you something about, um, move this out the way, I thought I moved this up earlier. I want to show you about these. These are little cheap heaters that you buy from um, Walmart in the car places. And they work, they work good. They work okay. They're not nothing to be bragged about. I want to show you the wattage that it uses. That's not bad. It did go out to 150 earlier when I was testing it. It might just go up to 150. It's slowly climbing up. This is for, like, you want to do a window. But that's 150 watts you're losing in a small power bank. I want to show you the difference between the whole made one. The amount of energy it uses. This is 12 volts. You can see the difference right there. The homemade one is better. It's this one right here blowing the heat. It's not blowing as hard like this one is, but it's still blowing heat. And you can see out of the time, you get two hours versus 30 minutes out of this 12 plug-in, the plug-in one. To 45 minutes if the battery is fully charged. This is the reason why I turned to making these, uh, these little hobbies right here. And this is the water to use. So when you go to those little small, smaller Gold Zero power banks, they last a long time because you're not using much energy. 
He's in 67 watts, 65. And sometimes it goes down. Depends on the temperature. I want to show you a little surprise I was trying to hide. Somebody spotted it out. This ice cold um, power bank. I've been doing a test on it. I like it. I have to wait until this gets done playing around. Let me cut this off. Oops. This little ice cone with this power bank and this, um, my homemade one. This easy goes about 12 to 13 hours easy. And these are the second one. You can run two of these bad boys. on the power bank and you can have them in separate areas yes it won't last 12 to 15 hours like one would do but you get at least you have heat out of this ice cold I like this product the only downside on it is only telling you that you know, uh, minutes. It doesn't tell you nothing else. It's not made for this. What I like about it, I tried it. For half an hour, it took it to go down. A long time. So I got over, I think about 120 watts pouring from both fans, heaters. Both heaters are on. So, I'm guaranteed at least eight hours. Repeat to nine. This ice cold uses the same Nomad 50. And I have two of these. That's 100 watts. 100 watts of charging. Here's the specs in it. You can use their products. The lights, heaters, whatever you want to do with it. You know, to do what you have to do. And you can add more to it. The USB lights, the fans, regular fans, to circulate the air. It's getting hot. Let me turn this off. What for these going on? Hopefully I'm making it too hot. But, um, you can sit there and, you know, run two heaters off this power bank during the winter time if you just don't want to you today, you don't want to leave your car running like you see people doing today. So I made these. So if I have to go get somebody's car, or if my vehicle breaks down, or the vehicle I have to go pick up is cold and I need to work on it, I get heat. These are great. This, this ice co is a good uh, power bank. And it's PB250. I don't know about the newest one. I like this one because you can use the old. Um, go zero products of it, Nomad 50. Somebody has spotted it, and I'm trying to cover up it before I made, you know, made sure that it was worth it. It is worth it. I'm very happy with it. Not just that, it's regulated as 13, I don't know if you can see that, 13.3 volts. And this is great for my sleep machine. So I, I'm not done testing it. To make sure it's not overheating in the cars or nothing like that. It's coming near winter time. I'm going to test it during winter time, make sure it still works. So I'm just telling you that, you know, right now, what I can see out of I'm impressed with it. I'm more likely happy with it because it uses a Nomad 50 um, solar panels to charge it. You can put two of those together and um, another one to bring it up to 100 watts. On a, on, on a not so um, sunny day to charge it up. So I'm just saying, you know how I made out.
I give you more information about it. Thank you for watching. God bless.